Hi students. So in the previous video, I explained about the Zigbee architecture layer. Uh, this is an, uh, uh, different layers that are present in the Zigbee. Now let us see you know, what what does Zigbee will do. So what exactly the Zigbee will do? The first, the Zigbee is designed. It is designed for wireless controls and sensors. So I already said. The Zigbee is mainly used to create for wireless controls and sensors operations. So wherever you want to, it's just a remote accessing. So to without wired. So in those cases, in those uh, situations, we are we can use the Zigbee, and it operates operates in personal area network so one important thing is it can operate only in personal area networks not in the wide area network or local means uh, in the man metropolitan area network so it can operates only within a distance within a room okay within a house it operates in a personal area network and it should be device to device network device to device network so different uh, devices will be there in the uh, in the house so they it is the zigbee will work on device to device so here is one device and here is one device like that so it is it should be a device to device network and the connectivity between small packet devices and it controls of lights the main the zigbee will do it controls of lights switches thermostats and appliances etc so what exactly this zigbee will do so let me explain uh, suppose if you are in your home there are so many electronic gadgets or so many uh, electronic equipments are there so those you call it as devices means suppose if you are sitting in a hall in the hall you are having so many switches one is op used to operate uh, the switch whenever you switch on the fan will rotate whenever you switch on the tube light will glow whenever you switch on the ac will on and so different each room is having uh, some uh, whenever you switch on those equipments will light the lights may go uh, on or the lights the fan may rotate or the ac may run or tv uh, tv uh, is going to be on like that so those are all controls so every device can be controlled with only one signal so that you call it as a zigbee the zigbee is having a feature like so all the devices like lights switches ACs, fridge, whatever the device you are having in the home, those can be controlled by using one click, one remote signal. So, uh, so with the help of the Zigbee chip, you can operate everything that uh, that present in your home means every uh, the switches that are present in your home by sitting in one area. Uh, just you are sitting in hall you can control the switches of the switches and lights in the bedrooms or living rooms or in kitchen so whatever it may be okay so with the help of zigbee technology so that exactly uh, that zigbee will do and coming to that uh, let me explain a simple example for this example simple so the let's take the lights and switches how it work let me explain if you take the lights and switches how this zigbee will work suppose this is here if for every zigbee technology there is a radio frequency signal will be there so with the help of the radio frequency signal it will be operated in a wireless technology so this is a switch one and switch two two switches are there in the zigbee circuit and here you are having this is one room uh, thing that it is a room here is also having a radio frequency signals and it having some set of lamps are there lamp 1 lamp 2 lamp 3 lamp 4 so set of lamps are there here so those are one two three four lamps are there 
okay so how it operates so whenever your switch one is on so this switch one will make the light one to glow so again this switch one can help up to three lights means this frequency the frequency range of this switch one is it can capable of up to three lights so whenever the one is glow the when one send the signal to two then the two will glow again the two switch will be send the signal to the three the three will glow only up to three it can send because the frequency range is up to three so for four the switch two will be work so here one sending the signal to two two will glow two is sending the signal to three and three will be glow okay so with the help of one switch we are uh, owning the three bulbs with the help of one switch the three bulbs are lightning and with the help of switch two we are uh, lightening the fourth bulb okay so here one will uh, all will be uh, on at a time so one send uh, signal to two two send signal to three so that should be nearest only to the adjacent nodes the signal will be passed only to the adjacent nodes so let me take the example like suppose if you have if you are a street lights are there so there are up to 10 street lights are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so up to 10 street lights are there so the zigbee if you use the zigbee technology in uh, by using this street uh, to on the street lights suppose it can send up to 10 lights if this uh, zigbee technology is having the frequency to send the signals up to 10 lights so first it sends the signals to only the one okay so uh, the range is there up to 10 it is having the, the range is there up to 10 lights but whenever the switch one is on the uh, first bulb is going to be on it automatically sends the signal to the next node which is present uh, nearest to that node and it uh, the two will glow next to three four five six like that so the signal will be sending uh, one node to another node so with the help of the zigbee technology so all the lights will glow based on the adjacent nodes with the help of zigbee circuit this is how uh, that what exactly the zigbee will do and next let me explain how zigbee works So the Zigbee works, uh, first you have to arrange the circuit, whatever the network you are ha having, that should be arranged in topology. So the Zigbee can support the star topology, cluster T, cluster tree or mesh technology. So whatever the network you are taking in the personal area network, so you can arrange the Zigbee either in star cluster or mesh so next here you, you need some network coordinators the person who is monitoring uh, the means the remote the remote the network coordinators and different routers routers are nothing but the devices that you are using and end devices means if you want to uh, make the light to, suppose this this is a and this is b so with the help of a you make uh, you want to operate b so first the net this is a network coordinator network coordinator so you have to reach the end device how you can reach the end device with the help of routers a routers are the present in between the coordinator and the end devices so with the help of these routers you are just reaching the end devices so this is how only it takes only the adjacent nodes that are present in the network and next state of operations states of operations so this zigbee based on the state of operation either it takes the active or in sleep state active means so here uh, suppose you have to think that whatever the devices that you are using, what are the routers that you are using in the network, though they, those should be active state. Suppose this, this is a dead node. 
because this is in sleep node so the network dis, uh, will not pass in this way so it passes from this to this and from here like this okay it doesn't go to here because this is in sleep and these nodes are in active state so the state of operation it may be active or it may be a sleep next the devices that use the zigbee the zigbee will use full function device that is ffds full function devices or it use the reduced function devices reduced function devices that is rfds full function devices or reduced function devices so the full function devices here it can acts as a uh, the full function device can access the three layers that is the it can work like a personal area network coordinator or it can work like a simply coordinator coordinator or simply like coordinator or even it like a uh, it acts like a device simple device so the full function devices can operated in three modes either it act operate in personal area network coordinator or simply coordinator or simply acts as a device and whereas reduced function devices it is used for uh, extremely simply te simple technologies extremely simple technologies only for the simple technologies you can use the reduced function devices so in the zigbee technology we will use two types of devices full functional dependent devices and reduced function device and next coming to the modes of operation so what are the modes of operation here we used in zigbee technology modes of operations so it can be operated in beacon or non beacon so what is beacon and what is non beacon actually beacon is nothing but it holds the packets a packet of information will be hold and it sends uh, uh, the signals to the nearest node so uh, this coordinator holding the beacon beacon means a packet of information is holding so it sends to the nearest node and next it sends to the nearest node it's check whether this is active or this is active okay this is not active so it uh, select this node and sends the nearest uh, uh, means holds a packet of information to this node and packet of information to this node like this so this technology is uh, is operating in beacon mode beacon mode means it is holding of in uh, packets of information and sending signals to the nearest node and non beacon means is opposite to that beacon so this is how the zigbee will work thank you